Hi, I'm Levi, the person, and I have something that I'm really excited to share with you, but I didn't think that I would do it justice if I was going to try to memorize and remember what all it entails, so I wrote something, and this is, this is it, and I'd like to read it to you, and I hope that that's okay, and either way, it's what's going to happen, so here it goes. There are moments when someone voices a thing that you have felt, but never had the words to solidify your understanding. And there are moments when you have understood something for a long while, and someone has the words to reintroduce your feeling. When I was young, or younger, I used to love certain bands or artists for their lyrical obscurity. It drove my dad insane. I think it worried him how easy it could be to cross the line into some create your own meaning relativism. I believe that things are concrete, but I love a good story. In 2004, Dr. Timothy Keller gave a lecture on fiction writing at an inter-arts fellowship in New York City and discussed creational good and excellence in and through art that pushes beyond itself toward truth. It reminded me of C.S. Lewis as a young theist before he confessed Christ, talking about beauty and the way it perplexed him as something that had to point beyond itself. Keller talked about his love for J.R.R. Tolkien, who never set out to write a Christian epic, just an excellent story. Tolkien wanted to make the world a better place by creating something that all of it could enjoy, and believed that who he was would come through naturally, without having to be loud about it. He believed that the gospel hallowed all art. It's why he was able to adopt pagan mythology for the Lord of the Rings as helpful rather than vilifying it as what was wrong with the world. He believed that good art would get to the core of our inherent knowledge of God, like Beethoven's fifth confounded Leonard Bernstein for the way it made him feel like there was actually meaning in life. I continue to love and believe in all the vibrant clarity that I have literally screamed thus far as Levi the poet. In fact, it is those beliefs that are fueling change. I am no Tolkien, or Lewis, or Beethoven. And excellence may very well be in the eye of the beholder, but last summer, I was inspired to do something different and write a fiction. So I did. Correspondence. It's the story of a boy, orphaned at land, who loves a girl, the daughter of a whaler, who separates the children as they cast off to sea in search of a great white whale. The setting is timeless, they are ageless, nameless. They write to one another via the ship captain's liquor bottles, carried back and forth by the waves. Letters, journals, prayers. The girl is adrift at the mercy of her obsessive father. The boy is waiting for her return, building a treehouse for their home. Think Wes Anderson meets Herman Melville. It's bits and pieces of their separation, their history, their future. I would say that this is the biggest risk that I've taken as an artist whose body of work has been entirely autobiographical up until now. I've been a terrified, glass half empty kind of a guy worrying about what people will think, but that's no way to live your life. Once something stops moving, it dies, and I've never been more excited about bringing a piece of work to the people that love what Levi the Poet stands for. For the first time in six years of doing this, I'm kickstarting an album. If you want to know the truth, I've always been turned off by the idea of it. I've never wanted to go the route of crowdfunding. I feel like I've seen too many artists abuse it, too many people taken advantage of. But recently, along with the thought that maybe I'm just arrogant and want to be able to say that I did everything by myself, some of my beliefs on the value of communal involvement in record making have been challenged. We have big plans that far surpass anything that we've done with Levi the Poet before. Vinyl, documentary, musical scores, video, visual commentary, licensing, and more. And even though it's something new, I'm asking for your partnership and seeing it come to life. So I'm inviting you into the story. Will you financially partner with us to help fund this album? Levi the Poet is not a huge name, but it is so much more than just me individually, and a lot of people are putting in a lot of hard work to help make this a reality. 
We put together some cool incentive packages for you in hopes of raising the support needed to make this happen. You can find out all about it and more here, and I'll be giving updates throughout the process. What I'm asking for doesn't cover every expense. I believe in investing into this story too. If you do give above and beyond the goal, I'm putting whatever extra is made toward a physical book that I've been wanting to self-publish for years, and that will be available to you in the future as well. I'm not entitled to anything, but I am asking for your help. For six years, people have loved and cared for Levi the Poet more than I could have ever fathomed possible when I started screaming things way too close to people's faces all those years ago. My thanks are inexpressible. You are amazing. I'm looking forward to bringing this to you. If you care about this, please give to it. Please share it. Please invite other people to give to it. I want this to be our album, not just mine. I want this story to be one of ours colliding, and I'm so excited about the journey. Thank you. Thank you.